Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств, представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый поединок в легчайшей весовой категории. И в синий угол приглашается боец из Таджикистана. Встречайте по прозвищу молодой капитан Аятулла Мумина. MMA Series 10, WKG and M1 Online. Brought to you by the Food World Sports Network and the Clash TV app. I'm Ian M16 Butlin and this is a bantamweight contest. Fighting see before you making his way down to the rage. Ayatulo Muminov. Fighting out of Tajikistan. And again, an unbeaten record. This fighter has three wins and no defeats. Ringside with a mask. Again, testament to the Football Sports Network and Clash TV bringing us these fights through a worldwide pandemic. And a huge thank you to all the fighters, coaches, and teams involved in making this happen. Ayatullah oh, Muminov, you see there in front of us, three wins. No defeats, and he weighed in at 61.2 kilograms. Just under the limit, the championship limit. And he'll be looking to come out here and impress on this huge stage here in the MMA series. So if you're watching at home on the Clash TV app, send us your opinions. What did you think of the earlier on submissions? Arm triangle, that very tight um, arm bar from the triangle position in fight number two. Good round and pound positioning we've seen from the wrestlers here tonight. Спортсмен в красном углу представляет Российскую Федерацию. Приветствуйте, Александр Данцов! See the second fighter making his way down for this bantamweight contest. From Russia, two wins, no defeats. Alexander Donsov. Again, a battle of young, unbeaten fighters here on this huge stage in St. Petersburg. As I said earlier, this venue in St. Petersburg. Kino Lata. I hope I've got the pronunciation right. The largest cinema in Sweden since Petersburg. So he bumps off, says a prayer. We see that quite often with fighters. Strong faith they have and feeling like they've got someone in the ring or the cage or in this respect, the rage in there with them, guiding them, protecting them. I find many boxers and MMA fighters are, are quite religious. So if you've got any questions, ask us on the app. But as always, clap for your favorite fighters, give us your opinions. And watch the action, bantamweight contest. Итоги смотрят этот трехраундовый поединок в легчайшем весе. Представляем героев этой схватки. Спортсмен в синем углу. Ему 19 лет. Официальный вес 61,2 килограмма. Рост 168 сантиметров. Профессиональный рекорд. Три боя, три победы. Он кандидат мастера спорта по боевому самбо. Кандидат мастера спорта по тайскому боксу. Боец из Таджикистана. Представляет клуб «Капитан». Город Санкт-Петербург. По прозвищу «Молодой капитан» в синем углу. Аятула Муминов. И его соперник в красном углу. 
Ему 26 лет. Официальный вес 61,7 кг, рост 168 сантиметров. Профессиональный рекорд. Два боя, две победы. Он мастер спорта по боевому самбо. Чемпион Санкт-Петербурга по боевому самбо. Бронзовый призер чемпионата России по боевому самбо. Представляет команду Самбо Питер Санкт-Петербург в красном углу. Александр Данцов! Рефери поединка Вячеслав Киселев. На середину. Итак, правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Внимательно слушаем мои команды. Деремся честно и активно. Защищаемся все время. Руки пожали. По углам. This is MMA Series 10, brought to you by Fubo Sports Network and the Clash TV app. I'm Ian M16 Butlin, and this is a bantamweight contest. Muminov in the blue, Donsov red. So we wait to start. Everybody out of the rage, except the fighters and the referee. Watch for a fast start here. Bantamweights, notoriously quick starters. Muminov, blue tape, multicolored shorts. Donsov in the black shorts, closes the distance, pins against the ropes. Donsov looking for the takedown. Strong upper, um, underhook, sorry. Trying to whirl him over the hip. Defending here, Muminov tries to break free, and he does with the strikes. So Donsov maybe showed us his intention here. He wants to take down, he wants the ground. Muminov knows that now, circling. And that was good work. That's nice wrestling transition there for Muminov. Ducked underneath, came around the back, and he's ended up in top side control. Back to half. Looking for a deep half sweep here, Donsov. Lockdown, straightening out the legs. Well defended that sweep there because it's a difficult sweep to defend. He locked his legs up, got his arms in position, Donsov, but good base, solid position there for Muminov. So now we have Muminov top half guard. And full guard into the triangle. Submission attempts here, armbar attempt. Can't quite finish, he's got back into the triangle. Non-stop attacks here from Donsov. He's looking to finish, can he get the finish? You see here Muminov wriggling, squirming out, trying to get out. And he's managed to. He gets caught in the reverse triangle, difficult to finish. Now, there we see the danger of Donsov on the floor. That's why he wanted it on the floor. But Muminov can control from the back. We saw his wrestling earlier on. Rolling leg lock. Can't tell where he went for rolling knee bar off. He's going for the heel hook. Or in between the two there. Switching to the knee bar. Non stop submission after submission. Rapid fire here. He's looking for the toe hold with the knee bar. Punching the back. He's not going to defend. But rolling out is, he's turned out, and he's back on top. Muminov's leg is still in danger, though. This is great work, attacks. We see a, a barrage of attacks from the guard position. Now we're seeing a leg lock clinic here from Alexander Donsov. And this is what I mean by these banterweights being non-stop rapid fire from the beginning to the end. The work in wrestling, strikes, and there. I don't think I can count the amount of submission attempts we saw there. At every position that Muminov rolled or wriggled, he puts himself into another submission. But fair play, he got out, he's underneath and he's got the full guard. Donsov, how's that going to affect, uh, affect him mentally? He's going to be thinking all the attacks he had, all the submissions he was close with, and every single one defended by Oyatolo Muminov. 
Good right hand there from a postured up guard. Warning there for holding the gloves. And he comes down with solid shots. Donso's got powerful ground and pound because he postures his head up before he throws the punches. Again there. Puts his full shoulder behind. Head up, shoulder behind and powers the punches in. Big, big shots here for a bantamweight. Mumanov needs to control the head in the guard. If he's going to stay in that guard, with the guard closed, he needs to control the head. Otherwise, you're just holding someone in a position where they can strike you very hard. Right hand over the top. Head hungry here, Donsov. Maybe needs to circle the arm out and work the body before he fires the head shot. Muminov looking for the arm bar, but he's not going to get that from there. Donsov postures back up. Stop. Good, strong spine in that guard position. So, interesting first round now. Ayatollah Muminov, Tajikistan. From Russia, Alexander Donsov. As we see the replay here, it was that beautiful duck under, and it whistled round the back, the wrestling. Off. Then suddenly we saw submission clinic put on by Alexander Donsov. With arm bars, with triangle, with triangle, with triangle, with triangle, with triangle, with submissions that he went for, he went for one or two times. So for me, if you're watching on the Clash TV app, give us your scores, but for me, Alexander Dontov, Dontsov has won that first round. Referee checking the corner now before he lets him out. Just drying up any excess water which can cause slips and affect the action. Good referee in there before we start round number two. This is MMA Series 10, WKG and M1 Online. Brought to you by Fubo Sports Network and a Clash TV app. This is round number two. Bantamweight contest or your Tulo Muminov, Alexander Donsov. So both have showed the wrestling and the groundwork. I think the wrestling may be edged towards Muminov, but once it got onto the floor, the grappling for me was Alexander Donsov. So Muminov moving around the outside of the rage. Steps in, f fire the shots. Donsov looks to counter. Closes distance. Both in the under over clinch. Donsov, nice hip toss there. That's what he looked for in the first round. He's got his head caught here by Muminov. He's not going to get a finish squeezing just the head. More irritating than anything, and just stopping any action that Donsov can do, just squeezing on that head with the legs. No submission there at all. He's going to be punished for that now. North south position on top, Donsov throwing down heavy punches, keeps changing from the heavy hips, that wrestling position, to the jiu jitsu sort of knees in tight position as he transitions beautifully to the mount, low mount, starts to work up a higher mount. Big punches coming down now. How's Muminov gonna defend? He turns, rolls, gives up the back. Now we saw Donsov submission work. How good is he from the back? Can he get a finish? Maybe dropping off a little high. Blood now coming from the face of Muminov. 
Manages to throw Donsov off. It's a heavy blood coming from the nose. Munov bleeding. Donsov now on the back. Standing guard passing position. Looks to put the knee in. He's got to be aware of the up kick in MMA. It's not like Jiu Jitsu. There you see one. And again, very bad posture there. You can guard pass like that in Jiu Jitsu, and it's probably the most common way that people will guard pass, but in MMA, it's fatal for the up kick. So here we go, the doctor will check that nose. A little time out for the referee there. Blood splattered over Donsov, but he won't mind. Watch the replay here. This was ground and pound punches here from Muminov. The back control. It was the punches from the back, I think, that burst the nose. It went too high and Muminov came out the back door and the action started again. How will that bust nose affect Muminov? Who comes for a spinning technique and a well-timed close of the distance. Donsov back on top, one hook, second hook, flattens out, one minute 45 left in this round, plenty of time to work him down flat and try and look for a finish, will Donsov choose to soften him up with strikes, or look to get underneath that chin quickly. Staying on top, I feel to finish from the back, it's easier to roll onto your side. You've got a lot more work and room you can use with your hands. But for MMA, if you wanted to strike, then staying on the back like this is definitely preferable. But then, go up too high and give away the position. He dropped off again the same way he dropped off last time he had the back. Muminov felt him get high up and came out the back door. 50 seconds left, round number two. This is MMA Series 10. Muminov versus Donsov. Bantamweight contest. Donsov in the black, goes to touch gloves. Doesn't get the touch of gloves and closes the distance. Watch for Donsov. Let's go deep with that right underhook and go for the hip toss again. Can't at the moment where the knee's in the way. Munov knows that's his favoured takedown. He's using the knee to defend, stop the hips coming in close to him. Nice left hands inside. The uppercuts. Bumps off pushing in pressure and working the uppercut on the inside. So we've got two completed rounds there. If you're watching at home on the Clash TV app, tell us your opinions, clap for your favorite fighter and tell us who you think is winning this. So far, I think Alexander Donsov is two rounds up against Muminov and this is why hip toss, side control. open for those up kicks so third and final round coming up now on my card at least Muminov needs to get a takedown get a finish or he can finish it standing maybe a knockout but it definitely needs something don't solve two rounds up possibly a 10-8 that last round Donsov again steps in behind those high hands 
and he'll be looking to close distance. Both guys have showed their wrestling. If they can strike and close distance, both can get the takedown, but it's Donsov that's dominating once it gets to the floor. Mm, they've chosen to strike. <laughs> Lefts and rights coming in as he backs off Donsov. Needs to not commit too much because he doesn't want to get taken down. Closing into the distance there. A nice takedown. Donsov looking to get round to side control. He does. Again, as I've said, I think if you get to side control or past the guard, work away from the fence. Give yourself that little bit of extra room. Donsov's done that. Again, Muminov looking to come up high with those legs and just pull the head down. He won't get a submission, but he's trying to pull him out of position. There he does it again. This time, Donsov wise to it, not letting him catch the head. Nice right hand there. Steps over the head. Is he looking to get that crucifix position, catch that arm. So he'll have no defense there of the head. Donsov controlling well. From side control, nice wide base. He's looking to catch that arm. Moving off turtles. And that was nice work. Turtled, turned round, gets back to guard. So good recovery, but now Muminov is under pressure. Halfway through the third round, and he needs to try and work those legs up. He needs to start looking for submissions. He's behind on points. He can't just let the timer run out. He's got to show some urgency. Better to put yourself in a bad position trying to finish and trying to get the win than sit underneath in this guard. Closed guard now, Muminov. Donsov on top. We've seen how he can work good ground and pound. Now he's working a body to set up the headshots. Right hand to the body. Watch him do that again and come up to the head. Body and then up to the head. And switches to the left, same thing on the left side. Good work, nice technical ground and pound here from Alexander Donsov, who's two rounds up on my card. Chopping little kicks from the guard. Not going to do much damage from Muminov. I'd rather see him try to work for a submission or a sweep. Take a risk. Turn yourself off the fence, try and push off. He's got one minute, 15 seconds to turn this fight around. Alexander Donsov in guard, working away from inside a full guard. Taking turns, getting his hand free, working to the body. Looking to come up to the head, the fence was in the way there. So come back with the left hand. Just crowding the work a little bit here. But working non stop, constantly trying to better the position of moving the head. And I don't mean better his position by past the guard, I mean just better his position by moving the head of his opponent back to the fence and carry on working the strikes. Muminov trying to turn his head away from the fence and try and work out, but he's not doing much with the guard when he does that. So dying seconds now with his third and final round. MMA Series 10, Muminov versus Donsov. Bantamweight contest. And on my card, Donsov cruising to a three-round win. Ten seconds left. This is going to finish as the fight has gone. Donsov ground, ground and pounds away. And we hear the final gong. We're going to hand over to the judges for the official decision. 
If you're watching on the Clash TV app, give us your opinions on the fight. Give us your scores. On my card, Alexander Dontsov has won every single round. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых Hidden Wars, в этом поединке по итогам трех раундов единогласным решением судей одержал победу Александр Данцов, Самбо Питер, город Санкт-Петербург. So first loss there for Yatulo Muminov. Into the cage with a 3 and 0 record against 2 and 0 Alexander Donsov. Nice switch around the back, gets the takedown. But this clinic of guard work here from Alexander Donsov goes from armbar to triangle, from the bar to back to armbar. Couldn't quite get the finish. The resilience and determination of the women of the got him out. Then he went to a leg lock and heel hooks. Good points win.